let's go. All right, so we're having a look at EVE Online, and uh, there's been a lot of talk about this game. Apparently, uh, it's got recently gone free to play. Well, 2018 was apparently bought out by the same people that uh, run Black Desert Online. And looking at the Reddit forums, quite a couple of people are. Uh, jumping up and down about the way things have changed etc thing is there's a, a heck of a difference between pay to win and pay for convenience i mean if they give you a decent uh, free to play package um there's no real reason to uh to uh to really complain if you can get most of the gameplay for free i mean it's like the ablo immortal yes you can spend thousands of dollars an upgrade and uh, could be argued that uh, that's maybe pay to win because you can basically buy power and it, you know but if you just want to play through the story that's available to you as well so you know are you really being it depends where you want to stop you know how far do you want to go um, if, if a game's your career then i guess you're probably going to find that it is pay to win but if it's a game you're just playing to go through the storyline like i do nah doesn't really uh, see me as a pay to win sort of game it's just a pay for convenience and pay to get more powerful now this game is 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 uh, as far as i'm concerned always been a case of pay to win in terms of the more accounts you have if you multi box you can pretty much decimate anything in front of you so um yeah if you've always had money you've always had an advantage in this game if you can afford to have two or three computers or run multiple clients in the same machine you you can pretty much dominate uh, multi-boxing for me is something i personally i think they should limit to a few accounts maybe two or three so you know one one for you know uh, mining or transport and one for you know security something along those lines but i played this this was actually my very first mmo that i ever played um eve and uh so i'm not sure i think i played last in 2017 i haven't really played a heck of a lot but i thoroughly enjoyed my time in the game and I, i've i've got a character i think with about 20 mil or 30 million skill points i'll have to have a look and just check but I've, i know I've, i don't actually pay for it at the moment i've got this one here labeled a mega but i haven't activated it recently i just logged on for about seven days and work i've started a new business so i've been really really busy but um so there is a link i've put it in my um one of my things there is the top where you can click you know eve online new new accounts free to 1 million skill points so you click that link you can start a new account free of charge no credit card required log into the game apparently and enjoy it and get 20 days of free training so give that a try so let's have a look and see this whole eve store so i'm gonna there's the eve online store over here already got that page loaded up over here somewhere there it is so you can log in immediately and buy a few things now you've got plex which can be used in the game it's kind of like wow gold which you can sell um which no one's really calling world of warcraft pay to win for for doing that so it's not too bad uh, eve's had that for quite a while so if you haven't got much time to farm you can quickly buy some plex and sell it for um in-game in currency called isk isk and you can buy your ships and stuff pretty much everything in the game is generated by players like 99 percent of the stuff um i know they've added these starter packs recently where you can basically play for a week or a month or whatever with maxed out skills so you can essentially jump right into the game by paying a fee and you know have the skills necessary to either do a mining rig or something like that the the subscription is bloody expensive i mean yes if you buy three months it's in line with warcraft at 15 dollars 99 that's us um in new zealand that's like almost 30 dollars um it's probably the biggest obstacle for most people to play i mean 30 dollars a month for a single subscription is hellishly expensive when you consider that xbox is only about uh, 10 or 15 new zealand dollars or 10 dollars us i mean you consider how much how many games you get for an xbox subscription i mean there's there's thousands of hours of games uh there and they're pretty new titles as well so it's it's hard to really justify charging 19.99 a month so these are their things over here but you know it's it's one of those things it's a, a niche market i suppose so this is plex which you use for buying in-game currency and if i recall that is the equivalent of a month subscription but 
that that can be sold if you want to buy a mega time as they call it to have the maxed out uh, ability it's 19.99 and then two months is 17.99 and three months is 15.99 and uh, they do have a bit of a misleading thing saying um the subscription starts at 11.29 a month but 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 I mean, you've got to buy 24 months of it, $270 worth of it. But yeah, it's, it's you know, it is what it is. Plex can be sold in game, so you have that over there. Then they have these packs. The best value pack, as far as I'm concerned, is this uh, Platinum Starter Pack. You, um, I'm considering if I get some free time, because like I said, I just started a new business. Um, but... Uh, this seems to be really good value because you get 90 days of Omega, which is about, how much is that? 90 days is that, so it's $47. And 1,500 Plex, so $64. So it's, it's really good value for $99. I couldn't care less about skins and stuff. Um, I know games like Path of Exile survive pretty well just on you know having skins. But this over here seems to be a really, really good deal. Um, if you're getting into the game, like I said, there's a link at the top of my page by the Twitter and the YouTube called uh, EVE Online, new accounts, free 1 million skill points. Try that out. Oh, yeah, that's something else you get, 650,000 skill points. And uh, that's about, I'll tell you exactly how much that is actually worth. Like I said, I was mucking around in the, uh, in the game a bit. Um, and I did a couple of calculations. Most of these offers for buying skill points or overpriced because um, I calculated that you spend 650,000 skill points it's worth about $13 so for about $99 you get about $120, $130 worth of, uh, of stuff so it's a good 30% discount as far as I'm concerned that's their, their best bundle um, you can buy these large skill injectors in the game for about $857 million Esk um, Plex sells for 40, around about between 4.2 and 4.4 million each. So this is pretty much loosely based on that, what, what, what things cost over here at the moment in the game. Um, so the value of skill points is essentially, yeah, each skill point is, every thousand skill points is about two cents. Um, yeah, American, I believe it is, is it? Yeah, it's American. So yeah, that is that. Um, yeah, various bundles, what things cost over here, etc. But um, yeah, so is it the game pay to win or is it pay to convenience or pay for convenience? And and it, me coming back to the game and spending a ton of money and maxing out one of my my characters, honestly, is not going to help me at all. Um, a person with multiple accounts absolutely can blast the living but Jesus out of you in space. Um, a person with, uh, um, you know, a lot more experience than me is going to blast me to pieces on a one-on-one -on -one because it's a really complex game. It's got a really steep learning curve. And I, I know this sounds crazy, but I don't think you could ever really call the game pay to win. You could call it pay to advance. That's just my opinion. I really and truly... I, I, it's very, very much skill-based. Um, I have been reading the Reddit forums and they talk about uh, all sorts of problems like ganking, you know. Guy might have 20 uh, accounts or something like that and he'll gank the living bejesus out of you. I mean, if somebody's multi-boxing with that number of accounts, it <laughs> doesn't matter how much money you got, he's got, he's going to blast the living bejesus out of you. So there are safe areas in the, in the game there. Um, you just got to be careful. It's it's one of those games where deception and manipulation and conspiracy is is the flavor of the month. There's a real community based around uh, an RPG environment. It really is. You know, your best friend you meet uh, after a six months might decide he wants you to, you know, teach you a lesson, and he'll they'll drag you into a into a conflict and have a whole bunch of buddies waiting for you and blast the living, you to pieces. It, it it's it's the type of game. It's a very different social dynamic. That's my experience with it. And I mean, I've lost chips. So these are the various options you have available. All sorts of things you can unlock with cash.
But once again, I find it really, really hard. Oh, look, the game is expensive. There's no doubt about that. It's a bit, in my opinion, it's about 50% overpriced in terms of the subscription. But, you know, $30 at the end of the day, even in New Zealand, um, $20 US, it's a cup of coffee or two, you know. Uh, so New Zealand, I think it's $5 for uh, a cup of coffee. So for six cups of coffee, you're getting months worth of entertainment it's depends where you are in life i guess but the us dollar 1999 is is pretty high i think they should stick to about 12 or 15 dollars that get more uh, people especially people with multiple accounts the population of the game if you look at the server i'm done with this over here you can't see it i'll just move myself out the way here tranquility is one server everyone plays on there's about uh, what i can barely see that fifteen thousand players you could probably say that about half of those are are multi boxes because the game really really works quite well if you have two accounts and most of the veterans uh, uh, use two accounts but enough talk let's get into the game and check it out all right i have no idea if anyone's even watching so if you are watching i'm so new to uh well not new but I haven't played around with the, put a note here, chat if here, there we go. So let's um, try this out. So this is a brand new account. I'm actually running this on a 49 inch uh, double screen monitor. It's like 5120 by, uh, by um, 1440. Oh, look, we have your terms and conditions, yada, 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 yada. If you have an alpha account, by the way, which is the one that you don't pay for, the free-to-play, you can't multi-box. So if you're a multi-boxer, you've probably got more money than God. So anyway, let's check this out. Loading the game up, running it in the window because the screen's too bloody wide at the moment. And there we go, we're logging in. Actually, the stream is working reasonably well. check this out oh okay now, i always play kaldari because well you can play anything you want they are the uh the corporate people galanti are like your freedom democracy fighters the amar the heavy religious zealots almighty emperor empire is built upon our faith to, in the creator and loyalty to the throne and the minipar were basically people that were uh, slaves and uh yeah, we will free all our people from the bonds of slavery. To fight for anything less is to betray the Republic. Yeah, well, I'll stick with the Kaldari. I like them. Corporatism. Why am I not hearing any sound? None whatsoever. That's disturbing. I'm hearing no audio. That's my lovely... Uh Speaker set gone off. I'm hearing nothing at all. What in the world? What's going on here? We have to be getting sound from somewhere. Let us see what's going on here. There we go, I'm hearing something now. Briefly heard something. No, getting no sound whatsoever. Oh well, here's what it is. I see sound is going out over here, so we'll just, uh, this may be a problem. Let's switch this off. sound at all. Strange. There we go. All right, now I've got sound. Brilliant. And it's gone again. Okay, well, we'll choose Kaldari and see if something actually happens here. And... 
reflect them. That is strange. Why am I not getting any sound at all? Odd. Let's choose a... The Achira have been part of the Caldari state for three centuries through their intensely spiritual, cultural uh, remains. Mysterious Achira pilots have taken to the stars to unlock the secrets of the universe. Whether engaged in trade or combat, the Seviri are masters of focused aggression, highly competitive individuals. And they are probably who I'm going to play. And you have the Etais. Regarded as the face of leadership with sharp altered minds. Yeah, we're going to be a trader and a combat person because that's what we want to do. So we'll just log on over here and see. Yeah. Quite a bit of customization since I last played. Really cool. So let's uh, leave him bald. Complexion. Very cool. There we go. Um, eyes. Let's see what we can choose over here. Hmm. Oh, what else can we I can set eye colour over here. There we go. And we're playing around with this. This thing is. This audio, this, this headset is chopping on and off for some reason constantly. Strange. Very odd. Oh well, not important right now. We'll look at the... Uh, let's see what's going on here with the audio. Audio. Audio enabled. Yes. Master level. Advanced audio settings, general settings, display and graphics. Everything's set pretty high over here. Oh well, for whatever reason, it's um, doing its thing. Head and headwear. Meh. Got a couple of options here. Decent looking, actually, as far as uh, realism goes. Eh. Yeah. Leave him looking like this, and uh, hopefully that'll be it. Skin details. Eye details. This thing keeps logging on and off, on and off all the time for some reason with the sound. No idea what's causing that. Sony, you are failing me. All right. Now, lash thickness, cheek color, and you can adjust things quite nicely. Really cool, look at that. There we go, we have audio for whatever reason at the moment, and that's gone again. Batteries at 90%, really strange. Clothes. And we're going here to... Various clothes you can select. Really cool. Bottom. And mid layer, let's choose something like that. And there we go. And uh, I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it's driving me quite bonkers, this thing. sound again and we don't have sound again <sighs> really annoying
I am still getting sound flowing through the, uh, the recording there, so it must be some sort of a weird glitch it's facing. What can we do here regarding... Okay, so you can actually make the guy look more muscular and more weighty, so there he's a bit chubby. Looks like me at the moment. Chubby. And you can see his muscularity. That's just purely for the sake of... Uh, I don't want to stuff up... Oh, well, let's have a look. Uh, I don't want to lose my changes. We all know what female look like. You can imagine you can probably adjust boobs and things. And uh, Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, no, we'll stick to... Um, bald headset. Let's toggle the clothes back on. And what else shall we do here? We'll go to outer layer. Is that? You know what? I'm happy with that. This is just an alpha account, so I'm not fussed. Next. And choose your education. Combat pilot. Alright. You've got various attributes in the game, like, you know, um, Warcraft or any of the other number of games where you have different stats. Uh, Academy for Exploration and Department of Industry. I'm going to stick to the combat pilot because I'm more than likely going to be participating in combat missions and stuff. Let's call him um, Walk Hard. Why not? Enter game. Here we go now. You have absolutely Eden. no sound whatsoever. A but something is being recorded over here, so with whatever's happening, it seems Only to be the working. Most so. intrepid capsuleers can conquer its Only the most wonders. intrepid capsuleers can Do conquer you have what it takes to become one of the machines? To to here to explore the far reaches of space, carving out a name for yourself among the stars. To become a titan of industry, amassing wealth power and prestige as you rise above your rivals or to prove your worth in combat cementing new alliances and vanquishing your foes on your path to glory for the rare few immortality there we go and i've got sound again briefly and now With i don't have sound again. Training program, you become the architect Absolutely. of your own destiny Well, it seems to be recording audio out to the yeah. It seems to be recording audio out to the yeah. Greetings, Captain. I am Aura, your AI companion. I am here to help you find your way through New Eden. Welcome to the first day of your new life as a Capsuleer. There we go. I am now transferring your pod into a ship, provided by air, as part of your capsule. So this is the apparently the new player experience I should be speaking about. Vectoring escape route. Evacuation sequence initiated. Station hull integrity compromised. So there we go, the ship is stopping. Captain, this cloning facility was attacked before your capsule could be inserted into a ship. I initiated our evacuation sequence before we reached the hangar to avoid certain death. I'm disappointed uh, that no um, need to thank me. EVE Online doesn't really have much in terms of uh, the, um, the display of... Uh, there's not many people actually following this, and you'd think you'd get some people. 
All right, so she's evac initiated the evacu evacuation sequence, so we'll go there. This baptism by fire is certainly not what Air had planned for your first day in a pod. Rest assured, I am here to help. So, baptism by fire. Oh, I see what's happening. The stupid device is... Um, All right, so she's here to help. I'm Let's unable to identify our attackers, but they are not currently targeting our capsule. This gives us time to locate a ship. All right, so we'll locate a ship. Your pod may be able to fly through space, but like all capsules, is it is unarmed. Training tutorial there. A proper here. ship comes with proper weaponry. We must scan the debris for a space-worthy vessel. Hold down the left mouse button and move your mouse around to rotate the camera. Now, let's get a better look at our surroundings. Alright, this is just basically teaching you the, uh, the layout of things, so it's no real good. Ah, there is a ship still capable of flight. An Astero, no less. A fine ship indeed. Oh, I have so this highlighted just the navigation section of your game. display. That's all it is. Use it to approach the ship. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to switch this off because something is really annoying me. Alright, so maybe it'll behave its... No, still switches off the speaker every single time. That's bloody annoying. So the way this headset works is if you're, uh, you're talking, it automatically switches off the, uh, the audio. Figured it out. Okay, cool. Bad choice for a headset for gaming, I guess. Um, I will swap it across sometime. Are yeah, we going to approach the ship? Really, do I have to go through this? That really sucks. Board the Astero now. Okay, so we're inside the ship. Now, apparently, this is quite a valuable ship, so they basically put you in an expensive ship in the beginning, and they show you your shields and your armor over here. But um, they don't really uh, show you much more. Hmm. I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna switch this off. We are going to switch to these. Because I can't play the game if the bloody sound keeps chopping off. And I quickly connect these up. Temporarily kill the sound here. Oh joys, whenever something goes live, you can be guaranteed there's going to be a problem. Right. Yes. That one, 
they are and connect and hopefully this one works fine without any problems yay I can hear and I can speak at the same time brilliant and I have a viewer welcome to the stream all right so our shields took significant damage in the attack I'm gonna to to take this one off because I can't hear myself think properly the armor is also in need of repair. So let's have a look next. I believe the appropriate idiom for this situation is, we're screwed. Indeed we are. We are screwed indeed. Fortunately, the cavalry has arrived. Cavalry. Ships bearing air transponders are approaching our location. So this new player experience is new, oh, well, obviously, <laughs> hence the name. Um, since I played last. This is Balin Ferris, Commander of Air Security. All ships evacuating this cloning facility are advised to rendezvous at emergency coordinates. Cool! Several thousand civilians appear to have survived the attack. Let us make haste and join the fleet Commander Ferris is organizing. Your overview will display the ships in your vicinity. Cool beans. There he is. And approach ship. I still remember some of this. Oh, you can just uh, click on that and away it goes. Captain, yeah. your vessel looks like it's seen better days. I'll repair you once you're in range. It's a bit, um, I don't know. Interesting that Commander they give Ferris, you this high-end ship and you're going to your start with something really inferior. But I'm interesting to see if they've changed the way Negative the uh, the new ships start. Were cloaked and their hulls lacked any identifying information. I'd wager this was an act of corporate espionage turned violent. There are a lot of people in New Eden who want to get their hands on this technology, whatever the cost. Okay, so he's repaired me. What a nice fella. Thanks to Commander Ferris's repairs, our ship is almost as good as new. Almost. At his command, we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. All right, so we will proceed to the emergency coordinates. Continue. All ships enter warp formation. Okay. This is all automated for me because I haven't clicked anything yet. Very beautiful, I must say. Um, they've recently had a bit of a graphics upgrade. What I like about Eve is is the fact that you can pretty much sit back, relax, and uh, you know some of the activities. It's it's a very sort of chilling game, you know. You can just sometimes that is. Air's designated emergency evacuation zone. We'll be safe here while we regroup. Okay. A spot well chosen. This location's cosmic abnormalities will mask our warp signatures from detection. But our appreciation of New Eden's natural wonders will have to wait. All right. Captain, I could use your help. My sensors are picking up a strange signal nearby, but my forces are stretched thin defending the civilian fleet. Alrighty then, we'll just go check it out, I guess. It is very beautiful, I must say. And I'm not running this on a very powerful computer. Granted, I've got a massive screen and what have you, but it's... Um, I'm running a 1070 here in a notebook. That does appear as if my notebook is... Uh, is uh, the fans are blowing quite badly. Not bad, Initiating scan of unidentified signal. But it's on max settings, so it's Captain, really not bad. Hostiles inbound. Ooh, hot hostiles. Brilliant. We have to defend those unarmed civilian transports. All ships equipped for combat form up around me. Okie dokie. And select 
orbit. That's what we're doing, we're going to orbit. That's a really handy feature, you can My keep your distance from something by um, you know, just orbiting facility. it. Whether it's an asteroid or a, a ship or whatever. Oh, we have things to kill. Hostile frigate. 42 kilometers, 41 kilometers. Several frigates are breaking away from the pack. They're targeting those civilian ships. Well then, we'll have to kill them. Orbit. We're too far away, Captain. Thankfully, our ship is equipped with a module that will boost our speed. Aha! Uh -huh. It is the... Afterburner. It's all coming back to me now. There we go. So we're going to orbit him. Within range. Lock. Lock your target. And target lock confirmed. Time to fire. Fire. That's it, Captain. Let him have it. Wow, this is quite colourful. Switched off the burner off now, so I suppose we need that. It's, well uh, what is this? A now webby fire. Alright, so this is at 6,000, so we'll, we can't right click. Interesting. Orbit. Fire, fire. There we go. And lock. Lock target. You can see there shields over here. Now remember the game from way back. You got your shields, and you can tank with those for lack of a better term. Well, yeah, tanking is the right term. Um, or you can tank with your armor, and then if your structure gets damaged, that's that middle ring. Then things are looking pretty bad. I don't believe you can tank as a. Well, that's off. Switch that on. Boom! Chaka laka. All right, next one. Select this one over here and let's orbit and target and a right click. You'd imagine that there was an actual right click ability. Oh well. I like the, um, I don't even know, there's actually a, you can see the shield when it gets hit. Look at that, that's pretty real. That's really nice. Marvelously done, Captain. Marvelous! Combat can be such a glorious experience. Right, so. Especially when you're winning. What else? Another hostile ship incoming. A cruiser this time. Right, it's so. larger and better armed than those frigates. What an exhilarating way to test your combat. These ability. appear new. I don't remember all these. Uh, oh, there used to be a lot of uh, manual. They must have updated the interface since I played last. We're going to orbit that. Lock it. Boom, boom, there we go. What's my range on these things, by the way? So if you look there, your fall off range is 4680. 4680, yeah. And the other one is 3.6. So 3.6 Ks is that deal range to orbit the guy up for your weapons. Oh man, it's amazing what four or five years of not playing does. It still looks as beautiful as I remember it, perhaps even more so. This guy is not taking any damage. That is not good. It's okay, he's finally getting down. Wow, it's taking its time. I imagine there's no real red. Uh, way to lose in the tutorial so this is just pretty much getting held by the hand and there is uh, armor is almost done and now's your chance 
Activate the Webifier. Webifier it is. That's to hold them in place, I believe. Good job, Captain. You've got potential. I have potential. I, my mother always said Shit. that. Two battleships breaking away from the enemy fleet. They're stopping the last civilian transport from warping away. Watch your six, Captain. They're bigger and badder than anything you've fought before. Alrighty then. We will lock. We will orbit. And we will destroy. Safety is enabled, whatever that means, I can't afford. Oh, you can show the info on the ship, that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, this is all the same. You've got your uh, structure, uh, explosive damage, kinetic damage, thermal damage, and... EM damage shields, okay. Look at my ship. Oh, you just double click that to see that, okay, that's cool. Taking a while, those are seriously uh, strong. What is this for? Multi spectral. Let's jam them for whatever reason. That should pop around if he's targeting, if I remember correctly. I seem to recall you could set your orbit distance. This is weird that I can't modify that because three three kilometers will be ideal actually. Three point five, so. guy is essentially bulletproof. Nothing is hurting him. I think uh, I suspect the tutorial has plans for me to learn the consequences of loss. What is this thing? This, uh, Captain. Electronic oh, I did it. I did it automatically. Lock on the civilian transport. Doing so means the battleship will be able to target only one thing. Us. Let's do it to this one over here. And block him as well. Good to know. They still appear to be shooting at the main one. It's really pathetic. Why well, would I'm sure this is quite a high end ship this? Stira. Why in the world would I have crappy little civilian guns on it? Gatling pulse laser. Wow. No one's taking any damage. This is going to end badly. I can see it already. Oh, uh, it is basically a handheld tutorial because the entire conflict is controlled with the um, clicking on the next button, which I wasn't paying attention We're to. We're taking heavy fire, Commander Ferris. Once our ship is destroyed, the pod will soon follow. 
According to my calculations, our destruction is 99.99% certain. Okay, so get ready for a big bang. Shields down. Yeah, I, I gathered that. I don't suppose there's any way out of here. I've just got to let it happen. My shields are gone. Almost. And structure will be next. And I'm way be fired. I can't do a damn thing. So this is a learning experience. That's what it is. Damn it. These bastards have been down. I won't be able to reach the time. Yeah, well, that was pretty much uh, predetermined, I'm sure. Ferris. You ferret. Tick-tock, tick-tock. So that's my armor that's going over a moment. The, no, hang on, that's structure, so... Bye-bye. Cruel world. Luckily for you, it will not be your last. Yep. If I remember correctly, though, um, deaths in Eve are quite expensive in terms of, uh, or should I say, costly. Um, you lose a tiny uh, amount of skill points, you lose your ship, you lose half of your modules. It's not to be taken lightly, death, that is. Very much a rogue-like sort of uh, you, MMORPG. Is not an end. It is oh, that's me. As always, I will see you on the other side. I will see you on the other side. It's much easier when the sound is working properly. Welcome All right, back so. to the world of the living, Captain. I hope your death was not too uncomfortable. Your neural data has been transferred to a fresh clone body. But before you stretch your new legs, someone very important would like to meet you. All right, so here we go next. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Vesper Calatrix, Air's Vice President of Operations. Commander Ferris spoke highly of your courage under fire. You went out with quite the bang. Since your ship was destroyed in a blaze of glory, Air would like to provide you with a new one. Okay, what are you going to give me? I will enable your station services panel so that you may board the ship provided to you by Air. Okay. Try not to blow this one up so quickly, but if you do, you can acquire a new Corvette at any station. Click board my Corvette. There we go. Your next adventure will hopefully prove less explosive. We have a lead on who attacked the cloning facility, and we want you to follow up on it. Considering your recent experience, you're the perfect pilot for the job. I've sent you a module that will help you on the next leg of your journey. Uh huh. Captain, you can access objects currently stored at the station at which you are docked from your item hangar. Mm, I still recall this inventory. Now, let's take a look at the module Miss Calatrix has given us. A mining laser upgrade. Oh, a curious whoopee. choice, Miss Calatrix. How will a mining module help our investigation? One of our agents in the field has intercepted a strange signal at one of our mining sites, but we're having trouble locating its source. We want you to investigate the signal, but if we're being watched, and I suspect we are, we don't want anyone to know we're on to them. You'll look just like another member of the mining fleet. Uh -huh. Duly noted, Miss Calatrix. Captain, you can fit the module to your ship by accessing the fitting window from the Neocom. Fitting window, fitting window. Open the fitting window. Ah, oh, there it is. Where the hell is it? Ah, oh, there we go. They've got it highlighted. Let's ah. fit your new module in a free slot. Now, bring the module online. It appears you do not currently possess the skill necessary to use this module. Hardly surprising. You still have much to learn. Aha. Uh -huh. Please direct your attention to the icon on the display that I have highlighted for you. 
You can add the missing skill to your training queue here. That's new. In terms now, of the little light stuff. Access the skill window from the Neocom. Cool. Skills are essential for all capsuleers in New Eden, as they. Skills are essential for all capsuleers in New Eden, as they serve as the primary measurement of one's growth. A more highly skilled pilot will be most formidable indeed. Uh -huh. Training a new skill takes time, as the neural pathways of your brain are rewired. The complexity of this rewiring can be measured through skill points. Where the hell am I? Million skill, skill points, points that I train the required skill. signed up for. Do so now. Maybe they come later. Now, all you have to do is confirm that you wish to use those skill points. Yep, confirm. The training required for your new module is complete. Your skill queue is now empty. All right. I should point out that you can train skills while doing other things. It's a good strategy to always have something training. I guarantee other capsuleers will be doing just that. We wouldn't want you to fall behind your peers, would we? Interesting. To that end, I've sent the air skill plan to your AI. Normally, you would have received it as part of your capsular training program starter package, but your training was violently disrupted, to say the least. Okay. We'll select the skill pack. This pan, advice is sound. You should always have a skill in training. Let's start right. with this new one. Start and training. Be the first of the more skills you acquire, the stronger you'll be. As you continue to grow as a capsuleer, you can adjust your skill acquisition to achieve your desired goals. All righty then. Now close the windows crowding your screen. It would be rather comical if you failed to see a threat hurtling right towards us. Because of an untidy display. What's this? Oh, okay. So that's them saying. The hell do you close the window? Let us online your mining laser upgrade. Now that you have the necessary skill to use it. You can do this from the yeah, time fitting module window. There online. We go. And there we go. Well done, Captain. Yeah, you well can done. I put a module the online. Window. Innovation, independence, interdisciplinary thought. Looks like you're ready to roll, Captain. Our agent will rendezvous with you at the mining site. I must say, this new experience is, it, it, it does show you the basics, but yeah, I don't know. What are these other little toys I have over here? I'll get some isk. Good. Claim. Close. What about this over here? Oh, there we go. That's for signing up using that link that the guy gave me. Oh, brilliant. So you, you can click on the link on mine to get the same if you want. I'll just claim that. Yes. And I'll claim that. Yes. And next. Calatrix is right. Time is of the essence. I suspect something nefarious might be occurring at the air mining site. Undock from the station so we can begin our journey there. Let's go to the uh, the site then, I guess. What is the time here in New Zealand? Oh, great! It's quarter past one in the morning. It is a Saturday, though, so oh, this is pretty, hey, Captain. I have run several scenarios that could explain the mystery signal air discovered at the mining site. According to my calculations, the probability that the situation is unrelated to the attack on the cloning facility is exceptionally small. One in 37 million to be exact. Okay. Let us make haste and walk to the site immediately. Oh, look at that. There's a whole bunch of other things here. There's a... Uh, Ibis. I remember those. They're old little... Walk to location. Uh, here we go. Drive active. 
very pretty looking game still hey that is really cool I, I'm just astounded I mean I'm running a 1070 here in a notebook and it's not too bad the fans are blowing a bit but it's, it's not working too hard also got a, uh, a Mac mini attached to this uh, monitor and uh, one of those new M1 ones and quite curious to see how it works in this because apparently this uh, works on the Mac now as well that's very Killing beautiful the mining operation is rather impressive for such a young corporation they must be remarkably well funded it is little wonder that Miss Calatrix would suspect espionage Oh, there's a bomb. Oh no, it's just mining going on. Further speculation will have to wait. We're being hailed by that orca. Oh, I remember the orca. The I think I had one of those. Expect. Elias Pelton's a name. Mining's a game. But you're not just here to mine, are you? All righty then. We're here to assist in any way we can with locating the source of the unusual signal you've intercepted. What is this flashing over here now? Oh, it's a corporation. Unusual is one way of putting it. Pain in my ass is another. The signal's bouncing around these asteroids like a fetto hopped up on a bad booster. Can't get a lock on its source with all these rocks in the way. Okie dokie then. Miss Calatrix has outfitted us with a mining laser upgrade. That should clear several of those rocks away. Very good. Good old Vesper, always ten steps ahead. Now, let's put that bad boy to use. Okay, there's a mining tab here. Best way to blend in is by getting your hands dirty with the crew. Some miners fly solo, but a project this big isn't exactly a one-man show. Sometimes the only way to get shit done is with a fleet. I bet this is the first time you mined with a crew. No offense or anything, you've just got that shiny new pod smell on you. Follow my lead and you'll be mining like a pro in no If your competence matches your confidence, we are in good hands indeed, Mr. Peltonen. Captain, let's approach the asteroid. Definitely they've upgraded the... Um the interface in the game a bit. Please, because... call me Elias. Mr. Pelton and makes me feel like an old man. My old man, specifically. Miserable son of a bitch. Just about spat in my face when I left his crusty old Caldari corp to make my own way. Sincerest apologies, Elias. Our first name basis shall commence immediately. Good. Hmm. I like to keep things informal here. Keeps morale up. This crew's full of people like me, following the siren song of sweet, sweet independence. Doesn't hurt that the money's good too. All right, so I'm approaching the. Uh, thing. What have I got here? I've got a mining laser upgrade, and a miner, and a Gatling gun. What ship am I in now? Ibis. Okay, so I've gone from a reasonably good little ship down to Captain. A tin we're can. Now within range of the asteroid. We should stop here. Oh, there's a stop button. Here we are. You ready to rock? Get it? Rock? Just a sprinkle of mining humor for you. Lock oh, yeah. onto that asteroid, Captain. Now Done. is the time to activate your minor module, Captain. The length of the module's activity, most commonly known as a minor. Here we go. There's something spectacular about a fresh asteroid, isn't there? Play your cards right, and that giant hunk of rock becomes a giant pile of riches. Right, pretty. You can view your very own pile of rocks, as Elias puts it, in your cargo hold. It's actually ore, not rocks. But I assume Elias is resorting to basic linguistic wordplay. A very human tendency. Ah, uh, so there's the... Venture. Might not look like much, but that's and not just a pile of ore. Cargo it's a road. pile of Hold. possibilities. You can sell it, refine it, trade it. The choice is yours. Mm -hmm. Now, time to quit ogling your inventory. This asteroid's almost dry. It is very beautiful looking. Uh, better than I remember, actually. And very smooth. Harvesting resources is one of the best ways to earn money in New Eden. And if you're going to make it as a capsuleer, the one thing you got to know is that money is king. Hell, with enough isk, you'll be able to buy yourself a sweet ride like that venture over there. 
That's one down. And now, on to the next. All right, so Follow me, Captain, and stick close. Approach. This asteroid yeah, field. The heck is that? Oh, that's a uh, different type of mining vehicle, I assume. You better hustle, or my guys will drain that asteroid dry before you get there. If you Let's got hit the afterburner. How close are we now? 23, 22. Okay. Are they going to make me mine three of these things? I suppose so. Kilometers. We're now close enough to target the asteroid. Once it's targeted, lock on. Just like that last asteroid. Looks like you're a natural at this. Keep it up, and Vesper will be offering you my job soon. Elias, are there any words of wisdom you find particularly valuable for new miners? Oh, man. Where to start? First off, you gotta know the difference between raw ore and refined minerals. What we're doing right now is mining ore in its raw state. For someone just learning the ropes, selling that ore is the quickest way to make isk. But you can also reprocess ore into minerals. Take Tritanium, for example. You can't find that stuff in the wild. You've got to get your hands on some raw ore, like Feldspar, and then refine it into Tritanium. You can sell those minerals or use them to build your own ships or equipment. You can find refineries at most stations. Experienced miners get way more efficient yields from their ore. So that's something you can work towards. The asteroid is depleted. Another asteroid cool. successfully depleted. We better close in on that rock then. All right, there we go. The final asteroid. This used to be the most boring the part of the game, I must admit. In this location. Let's stop the ship here. The signal appears to be emanating from the center of this asteroid. There we go. Target the asteroid and then lock onto it. Target. You can break this baby apart. Just like that. We can whittle away at this asteroid without damaging whatever's broadcasting that signal. Over here. <laughs> Some more money.
shit. I think we just found what we're looking for. source appears to be that wrecked frigate. This particular model is a Dramiel. Most notably, it bears a striking resemblance to the ships that attacked. The fact that the wreck is isolated leads me to believe that the Dr Well, we're not going to get any solid answers all the way over here. Let's move in. Interesting. Uh, what else is this? It's really, really nasty. The metal look that they've got in the game is, is exceptional. The signal is strongest in the vicinity of the Dramiel's cargo hold. Ah, oh, there's the open cargo over there. I do love the feeling of striking gold. Go and grab whatever it is. Done. It appears to be a black box. A device designed to survive the destruction of the vessel carrying it. Such boxes can be used to record vital flight data but also to store valuable items. Okay. That's nice and all, but can you open it? Next. Negative, Elias. Captain, the box is protected by multiple layers of encryption. While it's theoretically possible to hack into such a container, you will need significantly more training in that skill before attempting such a feat. <laughs> Who's that? You get ski. There's, there's, ru there's rust on it. <laughs> All right, there we Don't go. Don't think it's safe to crack it open here anyway. Where there's smoke, there's fire. One scout ship might mean they got friends lurking nearby. If we could trace that signal, so could someone else. Better get the box and whatever's in it back to Vesper. She'll know what to do. Elias is correct, Captain. The box may contain the answers we need to discover why those unidentified ships attack the cloning facility and why one was spying on this mining site all right there we go skill training completed yay skill training completed be quite keen to see what i'm going to do with the uh, million skill points i got from that free um sign up i don't want you out there alone i'll send some of my best pilots back with you safety and numbers and all that Wisely stated, Elias. Definitely been a significant well, upgrade on the graphics in this game. Most welcome. I do what I can. If someone went to the trouble of protecting whatever's in that box, it must be something valuable. I bet whoever sent that scout ship will be real salty that we got our hands on it. Stay sharp, Captain. Alrighty then. Now what? Let's dock at the station. I'm certain Vesper is more than eager to see what we've found. Things have changed. Welcome back, Captain. Elias, <laughs> the Minotaur ship is duct tape. Yeah, very good. All right, we have arrived. Indeed, we have, Miss Calatrix. And this gift comes wrapped in several layers of complex encryption. What's this over here? I'll pass that box along to our expert hackers. If they can't crack it open, no one can. Thank you for finding it. Air is once again in your debt. Very good. Elias also informs me that you're carrying a fair amount of ore. We can take that off your hands in exchange for some isk. 
Mind if I take a look? Yes, I will open my inventory Captain, so you can take a look. Captain, open your ship's cargo hold, so Miss Calatrix can see what you've mined. In order to sell the ore, you must first transfer it from the cargo hold to your item hanger. Done. Now, let's switch over to the item hanger. Yeah. Select the ore to see what you can do with it. Yeah, okay. A right click. I really do hold your hand here. Want to sell it to Miss Calatrix. Okie dokie. Nearly done. All that's left is to confirm the sale by selecting the appropriate. That's done. a nice haul you've got there. I've transferred the isk to your wallet. I think you'll find I've been more than generous. Indeed. In your wallet, you can view the total balance of isk in your possession. Okie dokie. Your recent market transactions will show you how much it. The highlighted entry shows how much money you received from air in exchange for the ore. Okay, that's pretty obvious. The wallet offers a wealth of information. It provides transactions. whenever an item is sold in New Eden, a tax is applied to that sale. The market Jesus, entry quite a, displays your most quite recent transactions. Like percent tax. almost, maybe nine or eight. Once you've finished gazing at your newfound riches, close your wallet and inventory. It's time we turned our attention to a more pressing issue. The mystic oh. Captain, I trust you'll keep quiet about the wrecked scout ship. So long as whoever was spying on us hasn't realized we found it, Air will have the upper hand. Okie dokie. I want to see what this is all about, this new offer over here. Oh! A destroyer bundle! Oh, goodness. Ready to fly. That's new. I'm going to click buy. I want to see what this is all about. Is this brand new? I haven't seen this before. I just want to see what this is all about. Holy crap. So it goes straight to the checkout, eh? So. That's not what I asked. Here it is, here. What is this? Oh, this is a different thing, that's why. Okay. Okay, well, I'm not buying anything right now. Oh, there's a time on it as well. Talk about uh, power selling. That's quite funny. Yeah, that's not a good idea, guys. Shouldn't do that. All right, uh, next. As good as they are. It'll take some time for my team to hack through the encryptions on the box. You might as well use this time to explore what New Eden has to offer. Have you checked out the agency yet? It's the I'll best way to find things. Access the agency. Miss Calatrix is right, Captain. In the agency, you'll be able to peruse a variety of activities, many of which will help you grow as a capsuleer. Alrighty then. If mining tickled your fancy, as the no. saying goes, you mining might be interested does not in, as you can see, fancy. there are a variety of options available to you. If you enjoyed your time mining with Elias, you might find asteroid belts and ore anomalies worthy of pursuit. I'll select Elias agents spoke missions. highly of your knack for mining, almost as highly as Balin did of your prowess in combat. It's clear you've got potential, Captain. Yeah. I can put you in touch with a few people who can help you grow that potential into something great. You can find them in the agency under Career Agents. Alrighty. Career Agents. I suggest you take a moment to familiarize yourself with what each career agent has to offer. They specialize in various forms of combat, industry, and exploration. Yeah, Missions probably... provided by career agents offer a variety of rewards, including new skills, ships, modules, and money in the form of ISK, making them both lucrative and educational. Enforcer. They love for war, wielding unimaginable destructive forces that daily reforge the landscape. Join this career if you enjoy lasers, missiles, and generally making sure that someone else has a really bad day. All right, and industrialist, obviously making things. Explorer, that's new. 
Have they added some sort of artifacts to the game that you find, or what? The space is vast, and a lot of it remains uncharted. Explorers are dedicated to discovering cosmic anomalies and various signatures. Although risky, pilots are often rewarded greatly. Alright, what about Soldier Fortune? I've been introduced many commonly used modules and tactics on the battlefield, including interdiction, logistics, and evasive maneuvering in order to complete this. Let's come to terms with there. Alright, I'll probably just choose Enforcer. No matter what path you choose, you will find a career agent who can help you walk it. You can even explore multiple paths if you wish. Mm. Once you've Set chosen destination. Agent, now let's close the agency. There is one last question I would like to ask. Our investigation is still in the early stages, but I have two theories. The attack may have been motivated by simple greed. Air has no shortage of competitors. Some would kill to acquire our groundbreaking technology, literally. Okay. A more worrying possibility is that someone is trying to stop us from pursuing our research. While Air takes pride in disrupting the corporate tech scene, there are those who think we push the limits of innovation too far. The technology suppression laws in New Eden are draconian, if you ask me. Here's hoping this mystery box has the answers we need. Once my team has cracked it open, I'll be in touch. Okay, so they've added a whole bunch of quests to the game. That's new. Much appreciated, Miss Calatrix. I await any and all updates with bated breath. Metaphorically speaking, of course, I don't breathe. Alrighty then. Captain, when you're ready, we can undock and begin the next phase of our journey. I do wonder how you'll die next. I suppose that is what ancient philosophers called morbid curiosity. Oh, there's some guests in here. Okay. Officers. Things. I don't feel like I'm docking right now. What I want to have a look around is... Uh, just check. So this bloody special offer. Ready to fly ship. I wonder what that actually includes. Destroyer bundle. Let me just log on to this. I, I quite, I'm really curious about this. What, have they, what are they selling here now? It's logged on with my other account, which is my... Oh. I don't know what that is. Is this it here? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what they got. I'm not buying anything right now. Especially not on a... Oh, crap. That's quick. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What are the details? There's no details, just buy now. No, I would like to know more. Where is it? Seriously? There's there's no details. Nothing. There's no details. Come on, guys, you could at least give me details. Okay, let's check out the rest of the store here quickly while we... So, that's bloody expensive for a subscription. $20 US a month, that's like 28 29 Kiwi dollars, New Zealand dollars. Yeah, mate, I agree with you there. It's uh, it's meant. I've actually done the comparisons on a with the whole skill package um, on Excel. I did a comparison, and it's much much cheaper to buy uh, um, one of the bundles or buy Plesk and then sell it, and then buy the skills through injectors. It's it's much much cheaper. I noticed that as well. Um, this is actually not a bad value pack over here, but. I'm not going to put it on this trial account, which I've just set up for the sake of... Uh, I was just trying to familiarize myself with the skill set again. But they... All of these are overpriced. None of these are actually great value. That That's not a bad buy, um, considering what you get. Yeah, yeah, it's true, true, very true. For two months, it's $50, but from a player, it's... Uh, 
uh, or two, five months, you say? Wow. Yeah, no, this is, um, even this over here, I mean, I've got this spreadsheet that I made, just to do a price comparison. So, um, for example, you've got, uh, let me just quickly go here. Yeah, so I figured it out that um, if you buy skills and things, it's about a thousand skill points for two cents. If you're going to buy a million skill points, roughly $20. Um, and these guys are all bloody expensive with everything. It's uh, far cheaper to just do buy things another way yeah this is not a bad buy though but like i said i'm not going to put it on this account this is just for mucking around but i'm just surprised that they want to sell me a destroyer without giving me any information on it it's not listed here anywhere so is there a time limit on the destroyer is it i find that a bit bit worrying actually I don't believe the game is pay to win quite frankly um, I think it's pay for convenience but uh, this is serious power selling right here tick 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 buy or lose I mean that's almost a reasonable price for a subscription though the Omega and 100 Plex it's not a bad buy actually but uh, you could sell that Plex that's about 42 million or so but they don't give you any details. Yeah. Must be a bug. All right, so. Um, why don't you check how these skills are? So if we look at the ships over here. I'm going to check if I can. Well, oh, you get skill books as now as part of your, uh, your logons. That's interesting. Biology, I've got maxed out on my other character, but it's also gone to alpha state. I haven't uh, upgraded it again. I'll switch to it just now. Um, so I've got about 22 million, or is it 32 million worth of skill points? I can't remember. I think it's 32, actually. Yeah. Um, go to the market. I just want to see. I, I like playing uh, shield tanks, uh, ships, and I like playing with, um, why can't I go to the market? What's going on here? Captain, when you're ready, we can undock and begin the next phase of our journey. I don't want to undock, I just want to play the game now. Why Why is it forcing me into the tutorial? I suppose that is what ancient philosophers call <sighs> okay, we'll, morbid. Okay, we'll just go through it. That's a bit annoying, I must say. Are you armor tank? Okay, brilliant. I, I can't remember most of the ships. I used to fly a, a drake and a raven when I used to play. This is years ago, though, like 2017, 2015. Um, at one point, I was very heavily addicted to the game. This is annoying that, that it's difficult for a new player to actually just stop and play. Right, so I'm going there, and then what? Stargates are also called jump. After okay, that cool. rousing introduction to New Eden, it's nice to be in space without the threat of. I suppose for a new player, it's handy to know how to jump Eden. and stuff, but uh, and I am on a new account, so expected. they're just doing what they're doing, I guess. I must say, though, it has refreshed my memory quite quickly. Um, just going through the tutorial. I just don't like to be on rails too much. It's annoying. You should be able to stop. Probably can if I look hard enough, I suppose. These look really cool still though, hey, these jump gets. Wow. Definitely have had a graphic upgrade since I played last. Yeah, I'm not gonna stop it, I'm gonna keep going through it. See what the hell it's all about.
I'm just bitching because I'm bitching. Yeah. Continue jumping to your destination. What the hell is going on here? All these Chinese names. One, two, three. What the hell? I never saw that before. Oh, that's so pretty. Initiate jump sequence. I don't mean to unsettle you, Captain. You've already proven yourself capable in battle. I'm certain you can handle whatever New Eden throws your way. And if you cannot, at least you are immortal. You okay. can be reborn into a new clone body to try again. I believe this is what humans call optimism. Missing. Initiate jump sequence. Oh, I was being an idiot. According to archaeological findings, New Eden was first settled by humans over 15,000 years ago. Life must have been very difficult for those early settlers. Carbon based life forms are stunningly fragile. With the right pressure, a human's vertebrae will snap like a twig. She's quite talkative. I guess it's because of the uh, the amount of jumps and things that uh, they're being talkative. Mostly people will be just chilling and watching Netflix during this time. I used to be in a, uh, a, a corporation called... Uh, test please ignore or something like that it was years ago and we must have gone through about 30 or 40 jumps to get to their base initiate jump sequence okay the earliest human settlers entered this region of space through the eve gate the first stargate built in the cluster precious cool. little is known of the civilization that built the eve gate but they must have been incredibly clever. What's with all the Chinese writing all over the place? I suppose it is New Zealand, it's two o'clock in the morning, but that's Asia Pacific region, so. Yeah, but why would they be up at this time? This is weird. What is the. Might be a uh, oh, brilliant. I never really got into battle with anybody. We were an enemy of the test lines. I think I played for them last. When was it? Uh, oh, I won't be on this character. Which uh, corporation were you in? Bugged or what? Oh, 
Oh, okay. I think that's where I'm going. The forge? No. That's the area. Oh, let me check out my... Uh, So much for a new player experience. Continue jumping to your destination. The hell do you press? Just duck or walk or... Oh, there we go. That may have been the wrong choice. Quite funny if somebody decides to suicide gank an Ibis. I doubt that's going to happen there. Not jump gate. Oh, there's the jump gates over there. see if it works or not. That's a really pretty background over there. Quite amusing the way they give you a, uh, a really nice ship in the beginning of the tutorial and blow the living bejesus out of it and then put you in an ibis. Jump sequence. Okay, so we're going to go there. Did you know that capsule technology was first gifted to the Kaldari state by the Jove? I would suggest you thank them for making your existence possible. But after several civilization destroying catastrophes, the remnants of the Jove now prefer to keep the to hell? themselves. Why are there so many? That's Russian or. Uh... Mobile depots. What the hell are mobile depots? Time to land, Captain. Initiate docking sequence. Ah, uh, broke out of its bug, whatever it was. That's one thing I forgot about EVE Online, the long jumps, wow. Benton, that's a minor, right, if I remember correctly. Just looking at the Ibis, lots, and a Merlin is a uh, uh, little frigate with turrets, if I remember correctly, yeah. Bantam, no, uh, Bantam is a cargo hauler, that's what it is, I remember that, yeah. I think I might have one actually. To contact a career agent, you must first access the agency. Yeah, okay, so I've docked. And 
We'll click over there. Well remembered, Captain. I knew you would be quick to learn. Well, you didn't now show me. Shy. Begin a conversation with an agent. Start I'm a sure they will love you. And if they don't, your choice of career agent will not limit you in any way. You can choose to work with multiple agents, but let's focus on just one for now. To begin the next phase of what I'm sure will be an illustrious career, accept a mission. All right, so rewards. Oh, this is an interesting location in the star system. We will accept. Now, let's tidy up our display, shall we? Close the agency and agent conversation windows. Career right, agents then. offer adventures designed to hone your skills. Air has provided a skill plan unique to each agent to assist with your progress. Oh, this is going to be great because I've got a want to million skill, skill points training. to spend. Let's dive into one of those plans. What's the journal all about? Oh, that's to show the air. Oh, that's cool. So over here is our Since you skills. have accepted the Enforcer's mission, you should select the Enforcer group for your chosen career path. You will want to train the Air Enforcer skill plan. Cool. Done deal. Oh, that four days. So that means I should be able to, with the million skill points I've got, I should be able to pretty much max it out. I've got a million skill points at this moment. You can view the contents of each skill plan by selecting the aptly named Show Skill Plan Contents button. All good capsuleers will always Oh, it's not really what I'm interested in. It's... And you are a good capsuleer, are you not? Yeah, I'll stop To prove training. to me what a good capsuleer using skill plans to guide your progression will make your life yes. easier and prove rewarding. As you explore different career opportunities, you will find skill plans tailored to match your evolving goals. Oh well, let me hear. Uh... Career agents will sometimes reward capsuleers with new ships. It is wise to have this. We're almost right. ready to embark on our new adventure. Now is the perfect time to close any windows you no longer need on your display. Oh, well, let's just, while we're here, apply skill points. Okay. Oh, you've got to pause if I remember correctly. Pause. Last skill points. Why is it not accepting my skill points? Oh. Really, guys? Couldn't you have put it in? Skill training completed. Um. Two, three, two, nine. Skill training completed. Um, two, three, two, nine. Skill training completed. It's quite nice. So it does actually give you a bit of a uh, a, a leg up and uh, give you a bit Skill more of a fighting completed. chance, having the extra uh, points if you. I think I. Found a guy by the name of Ace Face, and I got one of his uh, free um, applications. So I went and made one of my own for my primary account. That's why it's listed on the uh, top of my screen there. Skill training completed. I think you need about five million of skill points to be effective with most. I think up to a, a Drake or something like that, if I remember correctly. Not a great fan of guns. I prefer missiles. Skill training completed. Skill training completed. Not going to finish this one off. I'm just going to leave this as thirty-seven thousand. Okay. 
Plus the skills one day. Details regarding the mission you accepted from the career agent are displayed on the info panel. Uh, okay. Where the hell is the info panel? Here, you can view the mission briefing, objectives, and rewards. Should you ever need to be reminded of any of those details, you can always check the info panel. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> this is odd. Okay, continue. I must say, Captain, you've handled yourself remarkably well. Though there are thousands of copies of Aura in New Eden, I am glad to be your Aura. Ah, Have I said too much? My sentimentality protocols may need adjusting. Now, Very good. it's time for you to venture out into the stars. Go forth and show New Eden what you are truly made of. And I think we're finished. Yep, that's the tutorial done. So, Garista thugs are harassing miners. Da 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 da. All right, now let's see how much cash I've got and see if I can afford my favourite little ship, Kestrel. All right, so we'll come back to this. Let's see what we have here. Um, show info. Um, mastery of this so you need uh, shield tanking science one and power grid all right but i'm more interested in the kestrel so let's have a look at that um, i've got no cash though so i'm not gonna be able to buy them a lot of the things that i want um, let's see what a kestrel is going for now Apparently we have to undock, so, well, let's go do it. So I imagine this will be a relatively easy mission regardless. It's in this sector as well, so warp to location. Oh god, I got a miner and I got a railgun. Uh, that might have not been... Stop. I'm going to go back here. And okay, well, I don't think that just leave me out to dry. We'll go check it out. The proving grounds. Enter the proving grounds. Oh, there's only one thing there, it's a... So what is my mission again? Um, destroy all enemies in the vicinity, so we'll select on him. We will... Uh, orbit or approach him, I suppose. This is going to end badly, I'm sure of it. can't visit the... I can't see the market at all. Weird. Target. 
Now I wonder if I've got anything in my uh, my uh, cargo hold at all. Oh, there's two of them now. Great. And how solid are these things? Oh, there's the option to orbit at different ranges. Brilliant. There we go. 5,000. I have a sneaky suspicion they're going to deliberately make me die. Well, that was pretty easy. So yeah, obviously they're not planning on teaching me a lesson just yet. They're just going to um, Yeah, it's pretty weak these things. It's obviously still part of the tutorial. And they've got bounty on them as well. I forgot about that. Oh, it's completed. that orbit at seven five target and lost away So many minor things you've got to remember about this game. That's the weird thing about it. Um, like I forgot about the weapons fall off, the optimal range, the... Yeah, it's just a lot of things to, to remember. Is that it? Is it done? Yeah, I think so. Oh, there's Rex here. Okay, let's let's check what's in one of those. Orbit at a thousand meters. Switch this off. So you can loot the stuff in there if I remember correctly. Ah, oh, maybe not. Okay, so let's just dock and get done with it. Can't get over them trying to sell you this new offer and not having any details about it. I do appreciate that they've got a option to, you know, if you've got the cash to spend, you can, you know, level yourself up a bit quicker instead of spending the time. Um, 
Although I imagine a lot of people will probably say that's pay to win, but I don't know. I think it's more pay to convenience because you can't really, if your skills are crappy, like, I mean, if I spent hypothetically, if I blew, um, I don't know, hundred dollars in this game and got myself skilled up or spent three hundred dollars and got myself 25 percent more skill points or whatever it is um on my main character i'm still gonna suck at pvp so nothing's gonna change that i guess i'll get a couple of uh rewards here Ah, uh, now they've switched off the sound. That's a bit sloppy of them, eh? Click on the air career thing. Yep. And claim my rewards. And that... is that. So I'm going to claim all these as well. Yay, I'm worth 682,000 isk. And I can buy probably nothing in the game. All right, so let's just uh, close this all down. Close that down. And I believe that is probably the end. Oh, there's various missions. So there's two of 10 and it carries on and carries on. There we go, regional market. Let's see what a Kestrel sells for. Eight hundred and fifty thousand isk. Wow. Oh, buyers now. Ah, it's a bit of mining in order to afford that, eh? Right, so let's see what skills I need to try to fly the thing there. So to master it, I need shield tanking at... Uh, I need science and I need... Wow, that is seriously... A long period of study, eh? Science is like, whoa. Wow, look at that. 210,000 skill points to get to level one of that. Ah! Not only that, it doesn't work because you need a mega clone stat. Oh, you got to buy this first. Okay. Go check out my skills here. So I'm just going to apply these skills. this All right so I've completed the, the Caldari enforcer now I was just checking out that thing over there so to fly the kestrel master it I need science level one let's check these skills out
I don't wanna... Oh, there's a skill catalogue over there. Alright, so... Uh, science. Gotta buy it. Why the hell? Oh, it's because I killed the Garista, so my standings have gone down with Garista Power. Oh, hello. Um, click on the skills catalog at the top, study that. That shows you all the. Yep, got it. Thanks, Matt. I've been, I played a while ago, um, like literally three, five years ago, maybe more, maybe, maybe six. But thanks for that, appreciate that. Now, um, that should be in my inventory over here. What is the other one? Mother of God, look at the price of that. That's mental. I'm going to go back to the... Um, yeah, that's just crazy if they price it. Yeah, I, uh, I've got another account, but um, I took up a, uh, a free, um, one of those free things with Ace Face, you know, where you click it and they give you your skill points. I've added one to my, top of my link there as well. Um, so if you click on it, you can, well, uh, you guys have all played before, but uh, yeah, the million skill points certainly does help a bit. Uh, my other character's got about 32 million. This is the first MMO that I actually played before I got trapped with Warcraft for about three or four years. So, um, fun game, fun game. There we go, that's what I wanted. You know what the hell, I've got, got enough cash on the other character, I'll just, uh, just buy this darn thing and get it over and done with. Yeah, that is mental. I'm going to go back to GTA and get all this sorted out because I'm not going to pay that. I'm sorry, I refuse. It's a matter of principle. That's just people manipulating uh, manipulating things. Go back to GTA. thing to to um, 
just automatically jump. Can't recall anymore. Just want to automatically go there. How the hell do you? go. Um. There we go, jump through Stargate, that'll do the job. friend autopilot that's what I'm looking for in my little head ah oh, there it is on the bottom of the bloody screen there we go that makes life so much easier Call the tutorial showing that actually that's unusual. Silly things you forget about. I mean, I played this thing almost every frigging night. At one point, I had three accounts: one cargo ship, one mining ship, one. That was before they hacked the price up double. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, I'm doing pretty well in business, but uh, to pay thirty dollars Kiwi dollars for. Um, for EVE Online, $20 US, it's a bit mental actually, yeah. Mind you, then again, if you were to spend the $200, I suppose, uh, for 24 months, it's, it's decent money for uh, 24 months of entertainment. That's odd because I can see the stream. I'm watching it on my left over there, mate. Christopher. Can anyone else not see the stream? I can see myself from watching it over there. Strange. God, it's almost half past two in the morning. Good thing it's a Saturday. Yeah, it's been a, it's the first time I've started streaming since May, um, when I tested it last, and uh, I was originally using these um, Sony WXM4 headsets to stream, but every time you speak, the bloody uh, sound goes off, it's got a smart, uh, it's more for listening to music than using for uh, for gaming. So I'm just using these little Sennheisers over here, which don't have that problem. And uh, 
They're pretty good. Audio, good quality. But the Sony does give bloody amazing sound. These things are really good. I'm in Jita, home sweet home. Holy crap, what's going on? Oh, just to something. What the hell are these? Mobile Depot. What does that say? X dash F. I L um, E I can't read the other one there's quite a few people in local now there were like 300 about two hours ago On my other character, I was, um, I, I do have a, a, a faint recall of, for some reason I was fascinated on studying up on the Dramiel um, and flying that ship. I can't remember what my motivation was at the time, but that was the last thing that I was fascinated with, and it was about five or six years ago. Um, I had a, a, a bit of a mix, mix match of different skills and things, so... Um, game is uh, it's very addictive that's the problem with it I, I looked at this and I was looking at uh, No Man's Sky and I was looking at uh, um, purchasing a single player thing and I was yeah, called X4 I think it is and I was looking at getting uh, a couple of them uh, Elite Dangerous I was looking at but you know this is the first MMO that I ever played and yeah I'm not going to have a lot of time to play it, so the game style actually suits me because you can pretty much log off and your character continues to advance. And when you want to, you know, do something, you can. Um, I'm at a point in my life where, fortunately, uh, it's easy enough to buy a skill pack. Well, not a skill pack, but uh, you know, buy some plex every now and again. So. All work and no play makes a very dull life. So, uh, all right, this is where we should be to buy stuff without getting ripped off. There we go. Buy. There we go. What was the other one I needed? Today's forecast. Pirate activity seems higher than usual. Please fly safe. Weird. Can't I study that? Surely I can inject science. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, but then what level am I on? I mean, I'm not level... Oh crap, I already am leveled up. Strange. Well, that's cool. So what are the other skills I need for flying the Kestrel? Science is fine. Shield operation. I bought the wrong bloody thing. I, I didn't read that properly. Okay, cool. Buy this tap. That's fine. I can live with that. Doesn't matter. That'll sell quickly. Well, then again, probably not because... Um, inject. There we go. coming back to me slowly. Right, and the other thing that was missing was uh, small missiles. I imagine there's quite a few skills I'm missing over there. Wow, they are. Oh, there's uh, buy. Uh, light missiles. Buy. I don't really use rockets. Generally use light missiles and missile protection. Um, I remember this because I, I used to play this so often. Oh crap. Alright, so what is this? Air career program? Oh as you get to, that's pretty cool. As you that's, that's nice. They have added a few little things in there to, as you study, you get um, okay. Yeah, I think I'm actually confident enough now that I've gone through the tutorial and played. I must say, it, it's a bit annoying that the the rate has gone up so much. Like you know, $20 for a subscription for a month, because that kind of rules out me ever having a second account. It's not that, I don't know, I think it's more the principle of the thing, because I mean, I quite often have like Elder Scrolls, Warcraft subscriptions running at the same time. So it's not a case of money necessarily, but it just seems a bit, a bit high, you know. Um, but that said, I, I do like the, the fact that you can, if you don't play for a bit, you can boost yourself a bit. I don't see the game as pay to win. I think it's just, um, I see a lot of people on the forums complaining about, you know, it's gone pay to win, it's gone pay to win. I just don't see how a game which is so heavy reliant on skill, no matter how many skills you get, um, you can get ahead of other people, C certainly a different progression in life. But I would, in this particular game, I would say it's not like you're buying better gear or anything like that. You are getting upgrades, but you can also, if you've got the time, you know, just wait for them to, to grow or mine and, you know, buy this, the same skill injectors that I would be able to get, except I'll be paying for it with cash. But nothing is going to make me a better player than you except experience. So, yeah, they have certainly heavily monetized it and I think in some ways it's a bit expensive but you know I think it's uh, pretty good and I'm considering resubscribing actually um, it's just it's a fun game you know and I'm not going to be a better player than a pro but uh, certainly going to have a lot of fun playing it and get better and better 
I have had one encounter in this game that I remember in all my years of playing EVE where um, I was in a Raven, I believe, and I was quite heavily, I just happened to be, my, my hardness and everything were just perfect for a, uh, for a fight and a guy attacked me and I, he was an armor tanker and I almost got him down to nothing. And then like an idiot, I didn't leave the system after that. And um, so I started ratting again. And this guy came back and blasted the living bejesus out of me the second time round. So the first, I won the first battle, but I lost the war in the end. And uh, then the second time I just got my fresh Tengu. I'd, I'd waited literally months to train up for it because you couldn't buy skill injectors. And uh, I came through a gate a warp gate <laughs> on the other side there must have been about 40 people waiting for me and i got the living bejesus blasted out of me so yeah, there's certain experiences in this game granted i mean you, it costs it's 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 a hell of a loss when you get shot but very very few games give you the same sort of uh, um you know adrenaline rush as this one does because, I mean, I was just sitting there thinking, oh, God, I've got to whip my pod. I've got to whip my pod away. I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. And they were trying to whip me. And at least I got away from that battle. I lost my Tengu, but I at least got away and I didn't uh, get my, my pod destroyed. So, yeah, I don't think I've had my pod ever killed in the game. I've been very fortunate. Um, but, yeah, it's a very few games actually have this sort of thing. So I think the vets that are complaining and are bitter about the... The heavy monetization are, are missing the bigger picture here that um i mean i wrote an article on steam actually in my review and i was like ah oh, it's a bit you know it seems to be very pay to win and i deleted the review because i thought about it and i thought you know why not let the people with more money pay for the game they're not going to be better players so what difference does it make it if a guy i'd be more concerned with the guy who can afford to play pay for 10 accounts or 20 accounts that's that's my personal thing on this game but but otherwise i honestly don't care it's not like every single person out there is going to be you know this whale that spends a ton of money on it you, they're going to be few and far between you'll find somebody who's a multi-boxer every now and again and be blasted smithereens and there'll occasionally be a guy who's maxed out with 130 skill points but i don't see it as pay to win um i just can't so yeah that's my opinion on the game at the moment anyway mate i appreciate your your help you actually were very helpful um if you're still here and uh i'm more than likely going to be streaming this every now and again probably every saturday because i don't get any time i just started a new business um but yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. I enjoyed myself tonight, even though it was a tutorial. I'll be switching across to this character. Um, I'll just... Do you want to quit the game? Yes. And... Um, this is my main character in the game over here. If it decides to work eventually. I do feel the only thing that I have against their monetization techniques is that I have noticed that it's cheaper to buy things in the game than almost any of their packs. So that is a bit um, sneaky of them. But I mean, they're a company. They're entitled to make money. Um, it's not like you're getting ripped off massively. It's like a 50% loss in most cases. Um, but that's my guy over there. Connect. He's been... I paid for about a seven-month... Uh, um, uh, Omega pack. It's just that I've I've got such limited time in my hands at the moment, um, working 12 hours most days, um, starting the business, uh, running an IT company, and uh, but yeah, you know you've got to relax sometimes. Everyone deserves their little vice, and so this is what I have at the moment. Um, Oh, it's a badger I've got, not a bantam. Okay, that's what I got. Okay. And I had a whole bunch of stuff and stuff. Ooh. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. I will uh, upload this to YouTube. And uh, if you're watching this here and you've managed to spend the entire time actually uh, watching, 
stay tuned on YouTube um, or let me know if you want to see it on YouTube or Twitch until next time it's uh, me I'm done for the moment can I go to bed have a good night